Okay, so this is Ring Rock Media. Well, on Saturday morning, I've been dragged over to Terry Spencer's gym again. But he's got some exciting news. He's got a young lady with us called Liv Hussey. And uh, she's just turned professional. Nice to meet you, Liv. Nice to meet you as well, mate. And Terry, tell us a little bit about Liv and why she's decided to uh, turn over as professional now. Well, everyone on the amateur scene knows Liv. Um, she was a great amateur. She won all sorts. Two-time national champion. Tri Nations? Yeah, uh, Europeans as well, and won them in 2017. Um, obviously, boxed on GB for a spell as well. Did a few competitions like in Bulgaria, Poland, so yeah, I'm, I'm well known on the amateur scene. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, they told me, didn't it? But Terry has a little bit of an eye for superstars, obviously, with uh, Ricky Gorman, John Ado, and, and so on. On, on the books. Um, how do you feel about joining Terry over here in Widnes to uh, start your professional career? Yeah, mate, I'm looking forward to it. I mean, I've, all, I've been wanting to come down for a few months and obviously I bit the bullet and finally came down after how many times I'm messaging him. But yeah, um, I'm, I'm good to be here. It's like, a, it's like a big family, isn't it? Feel comfortable and I couldn't ask for better either. Yeah, he's not bad, is he? Now listen, um, we're seeing you in the ring there. You're going to fight at super welterweight. That's uh, Natasha Jonas's... Uh, Wait and Terry Harper, a couple of names to go after. Are you putting everyone on notice? Well, listen, Natasha Jonas, I look up to her as, as a boxer anyway. I mean, I know of her. I've done a lot of sparring with her when I was an amateur, and she's obviously someone who I look up to. Yeah, I did when I was um, preparing for the Europeans. She's, she knew my amateur coach, um, so we obviously got a lot of good sparring in with her. I used to go down to George Gym and stuff like that, so I, I, know, I know of her well. Um, Terry Harper, I don't really know much of her. I've seen her box, but yeah, obviously there's some big names out there, and I look forward to obviously getting my name out there as well. Well, women's boxing's really, really taking off, and I think this year's going to be an even bigger year for women's boxing, Terry. What do you think about the progress that it's made in the sport? Oh, it's fantastic. The, the female boxing side of things, it's just, it's just took over, isn't it? You know, you see, like, Taylor and that headlining massive shows, and you see, you see the females headlining massive shows all over the world. Now it's fantastic that they've got that platform, and, and rightly so, and I'm very excited about having Liv on the books. Very excited. What made you decide that Liv was the one for you? I've had my eye on him for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound right, that, does it? Your missus is going to kill you now. Uh, no, she's a super talent. She's a super talent. And she, she touched base a few months ago, didn't you? Probably yeah. saying she'll come down, come down. Didn't hear much. I just left her. So the idea, exactly what I've done with Rick, just let her fall back in love with the sport again. I mean, because you fell out of it a little bit, didn't you? Yeah. And she's had a little break, and now she's ready to go again. So she's making that transition now to the pros, because... She obviously fought at a high level amateur, so that transition is totally different, isn't yeah. it? It's mad, like, obviously, you don't realise the difference, like, your shots, you're sitting on your shorts, the movement, the little, like, the little tweaks and stuff, but obviously, like I say, we're, that's what we're working on at the minute, and, and we're doing good, so I'm enjoying it. Listen, it's a good place to come to learn, because, as I say, he's got a variation of fighters. Uh, Leon, of course, is back out in a, in a couple of weeks, I think. Ricky's three weeks away. Ado's going off to the States. So you've got a, a really, really good stable full of stable mates that you can learn from. Yeah, defo. They're a good group of lads as well. All made me feel welcome and stuff, especially Ricker. He's a funny one, isn't he? So, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to obviously training alongside him because at the minute I do, I do work as an apprentice electrician. So, obviously, I'm, like, I'm in the gym most days anyway but obviously sometimes I'm in different times than them but like I say we did a session was it Tuesday yeah. with us all together and that was good yeah, it was it's really great. good like the vibe and everything so I am looking forward to it yeah. yeah they're a friendly bunch aren't they and of course managed by Paul Smith Jr great manager to start with yeah that's brilliant to be fair obviously back back when I was a kid I did the Smith Brothers Academy in Liverpool uh, which was based in the Rotunda gym so obviously I'm aware of who the Smith Brothers are I used to just uh, used to support them all the time um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing with that, to be honest. Of course, Paul out there for the big fight this weekend, Tommy Fury, Jake Paul. What are your views on that? How's it going to go? Because there's been a lot of old tosh going on, hasn't there? God, you're hearing all sorts, aren't you? But I've seen firsthand, Leon was sparring Tommy. He had two good spars with Tommy. And Leon said how hard he hits. And you can see you can see how hard he punches Tommy. So, you know, I was, I was looking online before or the other day, seeing people, oh, Tommy can't punch, she's going to get knocked out. And I'm just like, you've, you've not got a clue. So if Tommy doesn't win by knockout, I'd be so surprised. So surprised. What about you? What do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. I'm obviously going to back Tommy Fury. I mean, I don't even really rate Jake Paul. A lot of people are saying, oh, he's this, he's that. But I think, like Tez said, he's seen him first and as soon as he gets in with him and he hits him with a clean shot, I think he's gone on, I reckon, round four.
Round four. Okay. Well, listen, um, it's really, really good to see you over here in the gym. And uh, we've had a little look at uh, you, you sparring this morning and uh, getting, getting ready for perhaps what will be a, an explosive first fight. I've got a funny feeling it will be. Any, any news on when that might be, Terry? No, we've obviously got to go through the process. You know, you've got to go and see the board and all stuff like that. But I think around summertime, they'll be out. Yeah. I've, I, the time it's all done, I think around summertime, yeah. Well, there's some big fights coming up. Of course, Natasha Jonas is uh, hopefully going to fight Clarissa Shields. She wants that. Yeah. The Shields want that as well. Um, maybe you throw your hat, name in the hat after that. <laughs> Don't be stupid. <laughs> obviously, I've got a long way to go before I reach that level. But like I say, obviously, I'll take it each day as it comes and I'll soon be up there with the mix, definitely. Yeah. Superb. Well, listen, it's really great to see you. We're, we're looking forward to seeing how your career goes. And uh, thanks for inviting us down here in the cold this morning. Thank you, Jonathan. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you.